On July 29, 2016, at the Spartan Mining Road Fork Mine Shaft No. 3, just after noon, Donald Workman was a victim of a fatal methane gas explosion. Donald was repairing loose metal guarding over the top of a mine shaft, working under the direction and assisting to supervisor and maintenance foreman Chuck Blankenship. He was on top of the metal grating overlying the mine shaft when the explosion occurred. As a result of the explosion, Donald was launched up to 20 feet into the air and six feet backwards where he landed on the ground next to the mine shaft. Donald sustained severe burns and blunt head trauma. Donald also sustained burns to his upper airway when the superheated gases were inhaled during the explosion. This resulted in charring in his mouth, throat, and nostrils. Donald sustained severe second and third degree burns involving 65% plus of his total body surface area. As a result of the thermal injuries to his upper airway, he suffered shortness of breath and was screaming for oxygen. Immediately following the incident, Donald's supervisor, Chuck Blankenship, recalls the incident as follows. Donald screamed in agony for me to help him, that he was hurting and I needed to get his watch and gloves off. I took his watch and gloves off him, but he was burned so badly that his gloves had melted to his skin, and when I pulled them off, the flesh literally came off with the gloves. Dr. Daniel Spitz refers to this as a degloving injury and further explains that this would have caused indescribable pain as the exposed nerves in the deep layers of the tissues were torn away. Chuck Blankenship goes on to say that, I have never seen a human in as much pain or as badly hurt as Donald was. All I could do was pray with him, wait until help arrived as he screamed in pain. I still have nightmares about him screaming and how badly he was burnt. The thermal injuries suffered by Mr. Workman involved almost all areas of his body. The burned areas of Donald's body were swollen and were weeping fluids. Donald also sustained a full thickness 8-inch laceration of the left side of his scalp. The laceration was caused when he was struck in the head by a blunt object during the explosion. Forensic pathologist Dr. Daniel Spitz states that it is likely that the blunt trauma was caused by the impact of one of the metal grates, which were also propelled into the air during the explosion or when he landed on the ground after being thrown, and that Donald was conscious, alert, and oriented following the explosion. Thus, he was fully aware of the incident and his condition. Although he sustained a large scalp laceration, this was not associated with injuries to the skull or brain, and therefore it did not cause loss of consciousness. Unfortunately, due to Mr. Workman being fully aware of the incident and his injuries, he experienced tremendous and horrific pain and suffering. Dr. Spitz points out in his review of the evidence that such injuries are incredibly painful, and thus Mr. Workman would have experienced extreme and prolonged conscious pain and suffering. The explosion occurred at approximately 12.10 hours on July 29, 2016. A 911 call was made at 12.13 hours and emergency medical life flight personnel and helicopter arrived on scene at 13.11 hours. 61 minutes later, Donald suffered tremendously as he waited for help to arrive. The pain and breathing difficulties would have certainly caused him to experience a feeling of immense anxiety and impending doom as he became more aware of the severity of his injuries and as his breathing worsened. Mr. Workman was found to have a Glasgow coma score of 15, which meant that he was awake and had full sensory and motor function. 
His pain was 10 out of 10 and worsened with any movement. Due to shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, and impending respiratory failure, the air evac paramedics made the decision to intubate him. Doctors in the burn unit at Cabell Huntington Hospital performed debridements and escharotomy in an attempt to save Donald. A review of medical records shows that for four days, he was responsive to pain. All while his organ systems began to fail from the extensive wounds, which compromised his immune system, causing even the rotting of his nose and other areas. Due to his severe second and third degree burns over most of his body, along with his massive wounds as a result from the explosion at the Spartan Mining Company Road Fork Underground Shaft No. 3. Six days later, on August 4, 2016, Donald was overcome by sepsis and organ failure shutdown and died. Donald Workman will be missed by a village of loved ones. This presentation has been created by Evidence Room LLC. Director Scott G. Roeder, Evidence Specialist, in collaboration with forensic pathologist Dr. Daniel Spitz, for the law firm of Bailey, Javins, and Carter, July 2017.